What's your take on Young Thug? Oh, oh. I'm not feeling him. Like I seen the nigga in a video where he came out and all his niggas got guns and all this, they pulling out guns and shit, but he got on some real like womanly looking type shirt on. You know what I mean? Some real cowl neck type of shit. And it's like, the more effeminate shit that you do, the more you're gonna have to do other shit to try to prove your manhood. So it's like these niggas will wear dresses and all this type of shit, but now they pulling out guns and all this type of shit, trying to prove that, yo, I don't give a fuck if I got a dress on, I'm still a hard nigga. I still ain't, don't front on niggas and throwing up gang signs and all that type of shit. It's like, where they do that at? Like, like I've known some real gang banging motherfuckers in my life. I'm talking Cali gang banging nigga. You know what I mean? I've never seen a gang banging dude wearing a dress or no shit like that, throwing up signs and all of that. The more you effeminate yourself, the more subconsciously you're gonna wanna prove that you're masculine. Uh, you know, to be totally fair, you're gonna find a lot of homosexual gang members in prisons. Jail for a lot of niggas back in the days was like Vegas. You understand? What happens in jail stays in jail, which was not cool. You know what I mean? Which is a weakness of mine, but a lot of these niggas, they might fuck a nigga in the ass in jail, but then when they come out, they not fucking with niggas. They was only doing it because they was locked up and they were savages and, and, and couldn't resist the sexual urge to not fuck nothing. You know what I mean? And just, and they went ahead and, and fell victim to fucking a nigga in the ass. But then when they get out in the world, they back fucking with just girls and they not doing that at all. You understand what I'm saying? And they damn sure not running around. Even if they caught this nigga in a dress somewhere privately, it's not like he coming out on the set. He not coming out on the set with a fucking dress on. You understand what I'm saying? Even if these niggas did this shit in private on the low, they not coming out like that, like in public type of shit. And I don't know what that this nigga, I'm not saying this nigga young thug is gay. I don't know his sexual preference or not. But what he's, what I'm saying is by emasculating yourself, that psychologically makes you want to do, want to prove your masculinity. So now if you get in a beef with a motherfucker, you know, instead of being able to handle it in a more calm, collected way, you know, a more, a truly manly way where you don't have to fly off the handle and all of that, you might be more apt to pull out your gun now and try to shoot a nigga to prove something to a motherfucker to prove that you a real man because psychologically they looking at you in a certain kind of way they looking at and you know they looking at you in that way you want to prove nigga i don't give a fuck i know you see me with this dress on but i'm still a hard nigga i'll still pop your motherfucking ass you see what i'm saying and that that actually helps helps lead to the bigger problems that we that exist within our society. You know what I mean? Murder and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's these emasculated young boys who don't have no father figure in the hood and who've been, you know what I mean? Sometimes oppressed by their mothers, you know what I mean? Who now go out here and, you know what I mean? Disrespect women and, you know what I mean? Trying to prove their manhood. Out here running around having mad babies with different girls and all, not taking care of them, thinking they being a man. All because they were emasculated in the beginning. Like, this shit affects everyone. You know what I mean? It affects us. What another man wears, it does affect you. Because it affects his mind and what he does in society. You know what I mean? It affects what happens in society and what happens in society is going to affect you either directly or indirectly.